My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. In a murder over in Riftdown, some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Hmm. Well, another beautiful day here the in Markarth. Unfortunately, I'm here for some somber business. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. My father, Klepper, is the one you want to talk to. I just clean up. All right, whoever the person Unlike is my husband, must Trevor, be here in this I room. Watch after our guests. No, these people certainly are a bit too chatty. Huh. Why are you looking at me like that? Why do you think? The Dark Brotherhood has come, Muri. The Dark Brotherhood... Oh, oh, I... My goodness, you're really here. Yes, get a hold of yourself. Black Sacrament. It actually worked? Yes, it did. Obviously. Now tell me what you need. What I need? What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I'll need more to go on than that. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. Ugh. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Horrible. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. All right. Simple enough. It will be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. So do but, I. Well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. Oh, here it comes. I'm listening. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. I hope you've it's saved Nilsine for it. It's Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch All right, I think I want you to tell me more about why you want Elaine dead. I went to Windhelm to see the Shattershields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning. Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern. While I was drinking my sadness away, he was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family, in their grief, and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of... monster. Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. It seems only fair. 
but what about this nil scene? Shatter shield. Why must she die? Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova, a sister to Nilsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No, they treated me like garbage, threw me away. With Nilsine dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? <laughs> maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. Hmm. And here, I thought Cicero was mad. Is there anything else? I planned to kill Elaine myself, you Really? Know. Nilsine, too. <laughs> but lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Maybe. Just coat your weapon with it. Then, you get the idea. All right, very well. Make them all pay for what they've done to me. Me, me, me. What would happen if I killed you instead? It seems like the easier this thing to do. I could just see Astrid now, furious. We drink to our youth. Today is come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. We'll I'm finding it hard to resist. To I actually strongly considering it. All right, let me get on with my mission. I didn't realize that we would be taking up Redguard missions from fools. Go this way. Hopefully, I'll be headed toward the right marker. I'm not ready to go and kill Nilsine just yet. I'm not even sure if I'm going to do it at all. It's ridiculous. displeased that I wasn't able to kill Muri. If anyone needed to die, it would have been her. <laughs> I just, I can't believe that woman. All about vanity. Uh-oh. See how we're going to handle this. Ain't this a surprise? 
Yes, ain't it? All right, that was simple enough. Let me make sure I'm fed. Take it that these are part of Elaine Defont's bandit group. Ah, oh. what we have here, someone sleeping. yet. There we are. There's nothing like listening to someone cry out in their sleep as they take their last breath. <laughs> another way. What? All right. Definitely way too overconfident. Let's try this again. Let's charge these weapons. Let's add some poison to this shot.
that was a tough bandit. I should use stealth to my advantage. Really? What was that? Must be my imagination. <sighs> Imagine this. Okay, she wanted me to use lotus ex extract. Let's see about that. By Ismir, there's a killer about. Is someone is someone there? That is where I am. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. Hmm, the Raldbathar key. I wonder if I'll need that. Just Bane. Sounds like something important. For you yet, unless you're too powerful, hmm, which you're not. No, 
I've always preferred to humiliate my victims. <laughs> Hmm, so this is not the key, but I think this is the more direct way out. And I just have to find my way through this fire. There. Well... Font made it as well. All right, let's see, where do I need to go next? As much as I'd like to kill Nilseen, the reason for doing it is ridiculous. Let me see if I can reunite these two. No, I didn't. I don't think he made the trip. Can I help? Huh? By stepping aside. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Ah, uh, would you mind dousing that magic? Not even going to bother to put on an illusion. So, Muri. Well, what news? Is Elaine? I was going to bring him here, but he didn't make it. He now lies dead. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. But last I heard, Nilsine is still alive. So I guess you decided not to kill her as well. I have to admit. I'm disappointed. Here's the payment for killing Elaine. And nothing for letting Nilsine live. Just remember, that was your decision. You are such a fool. Thank you again for resolving my problem. Mm -hmm. And if I ever have the opportunity to kill you, I will. Wait. Is this him? Yes. Look, Muri. It's Elaine. It's too bad I can't make him stay here with you. To haunt you for the rest of your days. That is probably an even better punishment. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. I'm actually not using a spell. Elaine, do you want to follow her? Perhaps there's something you want to say to her for her treachery. For she is the reason that you are now dead. Ugh. Would you mind dousing that magic? I'm wondering. there.
<laughs> well, that was worth it. Fitting in that she had the gall to say she was disappointed. How disappointed are you now <laughs> that you're no longer even alive? <laughs> oh, Muri, you're such an idiot. All right, now if I can. Who's this orc bodyguard? <laughs> I think he was guarding the uh, Khajiit caravan at one point. Alright, I hope I'm far enough away. Okay, let's see about getting back to Astrid. That was so well worth it. Killing Muri. <laughs> so, I wonder if word got back to Astrid about this accident that Muri had. Astrid. Ah, you're back. Yes. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? A bit. I did what had to be done. <laughs> of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature is something wrong perhaps you and your husband not getting along it's Cicero what ever since he arrived his behavior's been well erratic would be an understatement I do believe he is truly mad but it's worse than that he's taken to locking himself in the night mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. <laughs> Astrid, aren't you being a bit... paranoid? Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before, and my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. And what would you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. <laughs> hmm, but that does seem so disrespectful. 
Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Well, do you have any idea who would conspire with Cicero? That's the real question, isn't it? The jester enters, seals the door, and the conversation begins. So someone must be waiting for him inside. Any one of us could enter that chamber silently, unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? The very thought breaks my heart. <laughs> So what do you think Cicero is planning? Isn't it obvious? As the Night Mother's keeper, he believes he's entitled to rule of this sanctuary. Really? Cicero will cite our independence as the need to revert to the old ways. He'll claim we're undisciplined, unruly, heretical even. Ironically, the Night Mother could prove to be just as much a victim. A queen in a fool's twisted game of chess. <laughs> oh, so calculating of you, Astrid. Is there anything else I should know? I don't believe so. But I'll be able to instruct you further after you've returned from the chamber. It depends on what you learn. And make haste. You must be in place before Cicero and his... ally arrive. They could be planning another meeting any time. Go. Quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. All right, Astrid. I'll do this for you.